so hello everyone in the last few classes we have learnt what is Carnot cycle and how does a Rankine cycle uh, perform and uh, what is the correlation between these two cycles what is the comparison between these two cycles a Carnot cycle as well as the Rankine cycle so we know in depth what is Carnot cycle and what are the pa various parameters in it and what are the Rankine cycle and what are the various parameters in it okay now in this particular video we will try to understand how that particular parameters will affect the performance of a rank and cycle so if i vary suppose there is a uh, one particular parameter which is known as a boiler pressure so this is the boiler pressure here the pressure at which the boiling of the water takes place the conversion of saturated liquid to saturated vapor takes place at which pressure so that particular pressure is known as a boiler pressure what happens if i increase the boiler pressure to the efficiency how the efficiency whether the efficiency will decrease whether the efficiency would increase what happens to it what happens if i decrease the boiler pressure whether efficiency would decrease or increase so that particular thing we will be trying to analyze it in the examinations also he will ask you to describe the effect of various parameters uh, on the rank and cycle performance so he might be asking just uh, this like describe uh, the various parameters as a random question or he may specify what is the effect of boiler pressure on the rank and cycle what is the effect of condensation pressure on the rank and cycle what is the effect of superheat on the rank and cycle so like this also the questions may be asked as this is an important uh, topic and has been repeated many times in the examinations so please kindly uh, go through very carefully so first we shall discuss about the boiler pressure what happens if i vary the boiler pressure okay we know that efficiency of the rank and cycle or any cycle is given by output by input output is network done divided by input heat supplied whatever you are supplying the heat so network output is a combination of uh, the turbine work and the pump work correct which is given by h1 minus h2 plus h3 minus h4 you know it already works are always taken as initial minus final that is initial minus final and uh, the heats are taken always as final minus initial the heat is getting added you know heat is getting added in three different stages in case of a rank and cycle that is 4 to a a to b and b to 1 once again i am repeating this this is very important so 4 to a is an economizer where the sub cold liquid is heated up to the saturated liquid state okay there is no phase change during the uh, economizer process now in the second stage of heat addition it that is from a to b what happens whatever you are supplying the heat that is utilized for the change in the phase that's why there is no change in temperature from a to b okay a to b is a constant pressure constant temperature phase change process which occurs in a boiler so here what happens the saturated liquid will be entirely converted into saturated vapor so at the state b it would be a saturated vapor now from b to state one what we are doing we are superheating it by means of a superheater and rising its temperature without the change of phase till it reaches the state number one so this is all about uh, the recap of the heating process which occurs in a rank and cycle now where does the heat addition process takes place it occurs from four to one as it it occurs from 4 to 1. So that's why what is uh, the heat addition? How will you calculate it? Final minus initial. Heats are always calculated as final minus initial and the works are always calculated as initial minus final. So for the heat addition process, final minus initial, what is the final state? Final state is 1 and the initial state is 4. So it is H1 minus H4. Just take this as equation number 1. Now, for the normal running Brayton cycle, which I have indicated in the black color, see this is the normal cycle 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to A, B and then 1. So this is the normal uh, rank and cycle. Ah, now I will increase the pressure that is the boiler pressure from A, B to A dash, B dash. Now I am what I am doing is I am increasing the boiler pressure. So naturally it will deviate from the state 4 to A dash and b dash and it will reach up to one dash so the work done by the turbine would be one dash to two dash but in the normal cycle it will be just one to two okay if you observe the difference which length is more which length is more 
suppose for the normal cycle it is just h1 minus h2 which is smaller when compared to the increased boiler pressure work turbine output that is h1 dash minus h2 dash see the red color is more when compared to the black color that means what happens if you increase the boiler pressure the work output from the turbine will increase if work output from the turbine will increase what happens to the efficiency efficiency will increase naturally so simultaneously i can conclude that if i go on increasing the boiler pressure simultaneously your work the uh, output from the turbine would be increased if work output from the turbine is increased naturally the efficiency of the turbine would increased so all these explanations have been listed in a very simpler manner kindly take it down in your notes okay this is one parameter guys so after this we'll be going for the condenser pressure what happens if i increase the condensed pressure so we have seen that if i increase the boiler pressure what happens to the thermal efficiency thermal efficiency will also be increased but if i go to a condenser pressure which is the second parameter okay again so write down the same equations to just uh, know the dependency of the efficiency on the various parameters okay just write down this expression so that it would be easy for you to explain and write down the normal uh, ts diagram normal cycle ts diagram that is 1 to 2 which is indicated again in the black color 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 a b and 1 what happens now i am increasing the condenser pressure where does the condensation process takes place condensation process takes place from 2 to 3 is it now what i am doing is i am increasing this particular pressure to here so i am increasing it to 2 dash to 3 dash so what happens to the turbine work output so if you see the normal uh, uh, running uh, rank and cycle the work output from the turbine is h1 minus h2 which is in black color now if i increase the condenser pressure what happens it will decrease to h1 minus h2 dash so only this much but in the normal cycle it is this much so which one is great so the turbine work output would be great in the normal cycle itself that means if you are increasing the condenser pressure you are simultaneously decreasing the work output from the turbine so if you are decreasing the work output from the turbine eventually what happens to the efficiency efficiency will also be decreased so if the, you increase the boiler pressure what happens to the efficiency boiler pressure also increases that means efficiency also increases if you increase the condensation pressure what happens to the efficiency it is ulta it is it will decrease the efficiency that means if i want to conclude this if i want if you in increase the boiler pressure uh, efficiency would be increased if you increase the condensation pressure efficiency would be decreased and the notes for that particular thing which is the condensation pressure has been here with the same wordings which I have written for the boiler pressure even I have written for the condensation pressure with a minute changes so that it would be easy for you to analyze and write in the examination so just take it down and we have one more last parameter to discuss that is the superheat okay we shall go ah, this is the superheat so again write down the same uh, expression for the efficiency of uh, rank and cycle before you start explaining how it affects the efficiency just write down this expression efficiency of a rank and cycle is given as so and so now the normal cycle is what again in the black color 1 2 3 4 a and b same thing that is h1 minus h2 is a turbine work output now what i am doing is i am increasing this particular superheated temperature from 1 to 1 dash what i am doing i am increasing this particular superheated temperature from 1 to 1 dash so what happens to the turbine work output then whether it is increasing or decreasing here if i increase the, the superheating temperature if i increase the superheating temperature that turbine work output is also yes it is increasing if it is increasing what happens to the efficiency efficiency will also be increased so it is same as the boiler pressure again so what happens uh, if i increase the superheat efficiency also increases what happens if i increase the boiler pressure efficiency also increases but what happens if i increase the condensation pressure if i increase the condensation pressure the efficiency would decrease so you have to correlate the three aspects first increasing the boiler pressure 
increases the efficiency decrease sorry increasing the condensation pressure decreases the efficiency increasing the superheat also increases the efficiency so again you can take the notes for this particular thing here it might be asked individually how does a boiler pressure uh, gets affect for the rank and cycle performance or how does a superheat affects the rank and cycle performance or it may be asked in a whole thing so kindly be prepared for all these three parameters how it affects the rank and cycle performance that is mainly efficiency okay if you have any doubts you can uh, contact me anytime okay by this i can end this video